Well, hi there, folks. Welcome back to Wing Commander Privateer. So last time around, finished mission two for Murphy as uh, trying to break this blockade around the planet Palin, Allen, whatever, so that we can go talk to the archaeologist guy and get more information about this artifact. But for now, we're still dealing with this whole blockade situation. We took out the initial blockade around Nav-1. Last mission, we took out the reinforcements looking for their buddies at Nav-1. And so now let's go see what Murphy's got for us, along with getting paid and resupplying all of our missiles, because I've shot almost all of the missiles last time around. So let's go talk to Murph. I heard you waxed the patrol. Not too bad, Ace. That's the closest thing to a compliment <laughs> you've ever given me. Getting sentimental in your golden years, Murphy? If I came on to you in my golden years, it wouldn't be sentiment. It'd be senility. <laughs> now listen up. Our attacks on Bronte's reinforcements have finally weakened the blockade. They're running low on fuel, food, patience, you name it. It's time to make the big push and break the blockade. If you'll throw in, I can provide a force of two militia talons for your wing. We'll pay you 15,000 credits when you return here. You in? All right, fine, I'm in. It's not like I have a choice. I can't speak for everyone, but I like kicking a guy when he's down. Then you'll start right away before more reinforcements jump in system. This will be a tough one. The blockade is holding at NAV-4 of Palin's system in orbit around Palin. If you make it through, pick up your friend and return here for your pay. You worried about my pay? Or that I might leave without saying goodbye? Believe me, if you had left without saying hello, I'd be delighted. You're one tough broad, Murphy. Why, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Ow, okay. Alright, see if the bartender's got any good stories for us. There's a lot of talk about the blockade in the Palin system. Yeah, no kidding. Supposedly, Lemuel Monkhouse is trapped there. I read his book. Drawing on the fossil evidence discovered on Mars and other planets, he believes the entire galaxy was home to an ancient super race. Interesting hypothesis, but I think he's a little carried away. After all, a galaxy-spanning race couldn't just vanish, could it? Oh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay, restock real quick. Probably got some minor armor repair. Nope. Got away clean. Okay. Well, that's handy. Just got to buy a bunch more missiles. And call it good. Okay. Let's go break this blockade once and for all. Okay, weapons hot. And we got a little unscripted ambush right off the bat here. Uh, those guys picked the wrong place to be. I'm not wasting my missiles on three talons. So much for the wingman Murphy promised me. It's fine. Everything is fine. I don't need wingmen for these guys. Oh, 
Last one. And then it's time to actually do the real problems. Okay. So, we go off to Palin, which means we're going to go through Nav 2, which may or may not have hostiles hanging out at it. Nope. Oop. It does, however, have rocks, and I'm going at a high rate of speed. Okay. Well, let's slow down a little bit and navigate through the rocks. Right, this is basically nav 2, yep. When I come back to the refinery, I'm probably going through nav 1. Still could run into a random ambush, but I hate flying through minefields. So... Almost through. And there is the planet in the distance now. And yeah, okay. There we go. All right, through the mine through the asteroid field. So, auto towards the planet. And there's my welcoming committee. Hello, boys. Oh, and I even see blue, so the friendlies decided we're meeting me here. Cool. I just have to make sure I don't shoot them by accident, then. It's like the whole thing with uh, the head of the table. Great. Someone else I'm responsible for. And for folks out there who watch wrestling, I'm not a huge Roman Reigns fan, but uh, I do appreciate some of his head of the table shtick. If you don't watch wrestling, I'd say, I don't know, give the WWE a try. Uh, it is, and I only just recently got into it last year, and it is a lot more engaging than I give it credit for. Ow. One more for the resume. That's not going well. These repairs are going to be expensive. Your death is my living, buddy. Oh, shit. I have a missile on my sh I have some missiles on my shield. Hey, what can I say? I'm a professional. So am I. I like to think of myself as a professional. Okay, there's... Your death is my living, buddy. Oh, you too, huh? Yeah, those two wingmen aren't doing squat. 
Okay, here we go. Last one. Somehow the friendlies are still alive. Which is good for them. Surprising, but good for them. need to waste missiles. Alright. How much stuff do I have is broken? Maneuvering jets and targeting computer. Alright. Well, I guess I'll just pay for that stuff. bother trying to track the beam. Trying to match speed, turn around, get them with the, the turret when they're moving is just such a pain in the butt. So I will just let them. Somebody else can get them. They were shooting at me and that was rude anyway. That's my philosophy. Now entering an automatic landing zone. You shouldn't have been shooting at me. Okay. Well, thus concludeth this mission. All right, well, let's go pick up uh, the doctor, the archeologist, and get him back to Basra. Let's see. Oh good, there's a ship dealer here too, so I can make repairs. So let's Yeah. Lots of stuff to repair this time. Well not a whole lot. But. And then restock on missiles again. I shot six, that's helpful. I gotta repair my uh, targeting computer this time too. Or not. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, let's go find this archaeologist. Probably hanging out in the bar getting trashed. Sure enough. Hello, Doctor. Ah, Dr. Monkhouse. I'm glad to see you. I wish I could say the same. I am not receiving visitors right now, young man. I wish to be alone. Sorry, Doc, but I didn't run the blockade to take no for an answer. Listen, I have this alien artifact, and I... Don't speak to me about extraterrestrial artifacts. I'm sick of them. I nearly got killed here because of my work. You've heard of the Steltec? Well, suffice it to say, I recovered an interesting piece of Steltec manufacture. A piece which interested certain corrupt corporate interests who shall be nameless. All I need is a libel suit on top of everything else. Who are you? Just a curious privateer. Well, listen, I was kidnapped and brought to Palin by men who wanted my artifact. And then I was nearly killed in last month's bombing attacks. Thank God my kidnappers were buried beneath the rubble of the interrogation compound. It's convenient. And what happened to your artifact? Never you mind about my artifact. What do you want of me? I have an artifact of my own. I want you to tell me what it is. I'd consider it 
in exchange for transportation off-world. If you fly me to Basra Refinery Base in the Palin system, I'll help you solve this puzzle. Basra Refinery Base? <laughs> it's not exactly vacation central. Why go there? It's the nearest base, and I detest space travel in cramped quarters. He's gonna hate the Centurion. I'll charter a luxury liner back to civilization later. I will pay you 5,000 credits towards your expenses. Have we a bargain? Sure. I mean, I gotta go back there to get paid by Murphy anyway, so... And this, this was the whole point of this. <laughs> Alright, yeah, deal. Let's go. Okay, Doc. I'll get you off this rock and fly you to Basra. But once we hit Basra, you better prove you were worth the trouble. Meet me in the bar on Basra for your payment and your analysis. Most assuredly, if I can't tell you about your find, no one can. All right, buddy. You got yourself a deal. Let's check with the bartender. What's going on around these parts? If I hear anything new, you'll be the first to know. Okay, bartender knows nothing. All right. Okay, Doc, wedge yourself into that tail turret, and uh, we'll have you to Basra Refinery just as soon as we can. Kipling, you are entirely in our power. We know Monkhouse is aboard your craft. You will surrender him to us immediately. Or be destroyed. Hmm. Uh. Well. How about no? That's a goblin. I hope Monkhouse is good in that rear turret. Killing. Doc! Hope you know how to pull a trigger. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Do that. That's actually worse. All right. Changing targets. Change targets to the guy who's right next to me. And have a missile. Have more missile. That's a lot of cats. Well, I think it's five. Looks like one, two. Five. Five cats. Which is just too many cats. go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mixed force of Gothry and Drawfee. Well, let's make this Drawfee go away then. A deadly blow. I salute you. And I'll salute you too, but I'm not going to use all my fingers. Okay, trophy. Sure. The 
theoretically, I should probably prioritize the Gothry, but we'll knock out the draw field, and that just at least reduces the number of things shooting. And they're quicker to kill. Okay, next on the list, another Gothry. Okay, maybe it's maybe it was six, because I've already taken out two Drawthy and a Gothry, so six hostiles. Which again, six cats is still too many cats. Progress now. Shelter team. Okay, there's another Gothry. Hoping that other one is another Drolfi. Would have been a good time to run, but Kirathi don't like to run, it's dishonorable or something. Well, save that problem. Okay, so I am gonna avoid the rocks at Nav 2 this time and just go via Nav 1. is a little out of the way, but it doesn't result in an asteroid field encounter. And there we go. Not too bad. So now we're just going to land, talk to Murphy, Talk to Doc, and find out what we're doing next. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Off to the bar we go. Okay, let's talk to Lynn and get paid for, or talk to Murphy, get paid. And then Doc should show up after that. Just like I promised, I've come back for my pay. And anything else you'd like to give me? I never considered a swift kick in the butt an incentive, but <laughs> have it your way. Cute. Give me my money before I get all mushy on you. Here it is. Did you find your friend? Uh-huh. He's waiting at the next table. Then goodbye, and take care of yourself. All right, adios. Now we talk to the doctor. That was truly an exciting <laughs> ride. Thank you for getting me here in one piece. I've examined yeah, your artifact. Comfort. A very interesting piece you have there, young man. Especially since I have one almost exactly like it. Ironically, it's the very piece that my kidnappers were interested in. Then you know what it is? Ah, yes. You said you knew nothing of the stealth tech. Well, long before men emerged on Earth, the stealth tech ruled an empire that spanned the galaxy. Even then, they were more technologically advanced than we are now. By the time their empire crumbled, they were possessed of wonders beyond our comprehension. Is that so? Well, if they were so tough, what happened to them? No one knows. Some say they perished in a civil war that lasted millennia. 
Others believe they simply grew weary of their power, surrendered it, and even now enjoy a simple, tranquil existence at the heart of the galaxy. Nice fairy tale, Doc, but what about the artifact? Here is my piece of it. Notice anything odd? The markings. Hold it up beside yours. Ooh. A map! God almighty, it's a treasure map! Superficially, it also contains a complete set of the Steltec alphabet. Who cares about that? What are we going to find at the spot indicated, Doc? Who knows? The real question is, where do we go from here? The sector on the map seems to be located on the edge of the frontier. Bad luck indeed. That area is currently uncharted. Without the location of the sector's jump points, exploring the area will be nearly impossible. Unless I enlist with the Exploratory Service in Rhyganon. That way I could map the jump points and get paid for it at the same time. Good deal. Always the privateer, eh? Care you nothing for the possibility of scientific advancement? You got it, Doc. Nothing. I'm in this for the profit. Very well. I have no interest in baubles. You may keep my fragment and whatever treasure you find. So long as I get to publish any scientific finds. Agreed? Sounds good to me. Excellent. Before you go, I'll program your computer with the nav information from the map. As well as the Steltec alphabet. It may come in handy where you're going. What? You think X marks the spot to a Steltec colony? <laughs> You've been watching too many late night hollows, Doc. We shall see. All right. Well, that was interesting. But on that note, we're done in this system. So thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Till then, keep the shiny side up. Adios.